A local nursing program is turning to virtual reality to give students hands-on experience during the pandemic. National University was chosen out of 1,500 schools across the country to take part in this new program. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is in Kearney Mesa with how it all works. Amanda? While there's still some on-campus classes that are shut down at National University, nursing students are still able to get that critical hands-on experience, but now in a virtual setting. A typical day as a nursing student includes working on campus and hands-on training with their peers and patients. But just like everything else, COVID-19 has put everything on hold. Now National University is allowing students to get vital experience from the comfort of home using new technology. I think this is the future of nursing education. Dr. Gloria McNeil says it's all part of the new virtual reality training program that allows students to practice in a simulated environment without putting students and patients at risk. You can make mistakes and it's okay because no one gets hurt. National University is one of just five schools nationwide to receive grant funding, enough for 70 headsets that can turn a classroom into an emergency room. You can listen to heart sounds, you can listen to lung sounds, you can change a dressing, you can give an injection. While the headsets are being reserved for when they return to class, 50 students have already been able to complete the virtual training using their laptops. The course focusing on community outreach, using an avatar to respond to real life situations. While Dr. McNeil says there is a learning curve with the new technology, this is just the beginning of advancements to come in modern medicine. I'm excited for what the future will bring um, and it will allow our students to enter the workforce well prepared for their role as professional nurses. National University says it still plans to continue the virtual reality program in the nursing department long after the grant is scheduled to run out in 2022.